Right now, there are a lot of large-scale, interesting problems. How we're gonna build power plants, how we're gonna make the transportation systems, the infrastructure, and how do we schedule things, what's gonna happen within the stock market, and this requires somebody who understands more than just a small area specialized field of engineering. It allows individuals to have a focus not only in technology, but also in the human side of the equation or the system side of the equation. It allows better modeling of engineering systems from an organizational perspective. So the purpose of engineering management and also systems engineering is looking at how can we improve processes, how can we make things work better, how can we provide different solutions to these complex, diverse problems that require an interdisciplinary approach? And how can we make people's lives better? So our program is basically has six core courses in systems engineering, and then they can build up on their own engineering disciplines with other four courses, so it's open to all engineers. Good systems engineers are engineers first, then systems engineers. We have courses in organization behavior, mathematical programming, dynamic programming. Those are the basic foundations of the graduate program. I have students that are in Africa, in Asia, Australia. Any student anywhere can participate actually live in the classes as well. We have continued to grow and change in terms of how we offer our courses, the way that we conduct our research. One of the changes that we made was to add and systems engineering to the title of the department. That has allowed us to consider uh, yet another range of engineering problems and solutions. Some of the projects we've worked on are the integration of different components with a Ford operating base for the U.S. Army. Energy distribution, smart grids, uh, electric vehicles. Our students also have worked on projects with the U.S. Geological Survey and this has included disaster restoration. How do we restore that infrastructure? We are tremendously proud of our ability to adapt. Systems engineering will continue to be relevant, not only for the next 50 years, but for 50 years and beyond, and another 50 and another 50.